Hey guys, it's Katie here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm all about cosmetics, beauty and aesthetic. If we're on the same page, please like to support, subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications. I upload one time a week so far because I'm lazy. No, I'm kidding because I'm working. So let's get started. Um, in previous videos, I talked a lot about the products that I've been loving last year, but my videos turned out to be super, super long. So I decided not include this things uh, in those ones, but I still would like to talk about it. And um, maybe later on I can make uh, full reviews on these products if you would like me to so i would like to start with hands and nail care and uh i m my nails are bare because i took them off and i would make it a little bit later today but uh first of all i would like to talk about manicure itself i usually do everything on my own because i know how to and first i use this guy a uh, cuticle remover from b and c manicure vitamin super nail hardener and guys this one turned out to be pretty good so i usually apply it all over the cuticle and then i use my <laughs> kit my nail kit here i would just push the cuticle away and i would use my nail clipper from stalix here we go my one is smart 10 five millimeters but guys, I love Stalex nail clippers. I buy once in a while and I think every like three to four years and it stays sharp for freaking long. <laughs> no, it's so good. And basically I've just rebought this one because my previous one just broke this part here broke it's like oh wow it's so good and also guys as for a nail file i would recommend using a glass one this one i've been using for a good 10 years and it's still good it still files perfectly well so give it a try i like um glass files nail files uh, way better than like plastic or whatever they're not that hard on your nails as well so like this one's and guys, as for the gel, I really love this brand, P&B Camouflage Base. And this one goes al <laughs> I can't talk today. And this one goes along well, or you can use it as the base and just go over with any other color you want. And I, I, I've got a few of them, but I took this three here so you can see that um, it also got like, you know, nude colors or beige colors or even like some glitter in it. So it looks really well on its own as well. And guys, also I've been using uh, press on nails quite a bit last year. And I still think that Dash and Diva is the best choice. And it stays at least for one week. And you can always like bring a few nails with you. Uh, so you can, if one nail uh, would like, you know chip off you can just replace it with a new one and it's really comfy and super super quick to put on and i've tried a few other brands but to be honest like i start disliking press all nails after those ones because basically it demands uh, you have to press them on and here the nail itself at the bottom uh, the bottom or where the nail begins i don't know uh, basically it kind of began to um, how to explain you know um it's just a crap <laughs> i don't know so basically after those nails the nail began to like grow wavy you know which i do not like at all and i'm like oh wow it feels super uncomfortable and weird so i stopped using press on nails after other brands but i still got like two boxes of dash and diva maybe i will keep it till new year because it's really easy and you don't have to care about like like remaking your nails if you are not at home uh but for the gel nails let's come back to the gel nails guys i would like to also share with you my favorite lamp ever and it works for um i even forgot uv and led together and it heals super quick like 30 seconds and usually for the base oh for the top coat i use 60 seconds and my one is a little bit dirty but it looks like this i usually keep <laughs> the charger inside 
so it looks like this guys i will uh, link it down below so you can see the description of it or maybe just a picture closer okay this one is super good i've been using it for three years or four years so far and it's perfect oh guys and the last but not the least creams hand creams and guys i've been using many of them and there are a few brands that i really like um korean brands like the sam the hand creams are super cheap and they moisturize a lot like really well and they also got you know um thicker creams for winter and like lotion essences a uh, type of creams for summer which is amazing but so far i cannot really uh, reach out for them. So I uh, tried L'Occitane, L'Occitane, I'm not sure how to pronounce it correctly, uh, these creams and they are awesome. I do not really like many products from L'Occitane, but creams, for hand creams are so, so good. And the smell, it smells, this one is a peony one, right? I think so. Um, don't know. Yeah, I think so. And this one is a rose one. They both smell so good and they moisturize for a long time. And they are not too runny and not too thick. See, like, like this. Yeah. It's very easy to work it in. And the smell is so good, you guys. I like this ones a lot. And next, guys, I would like to talk about perfumes. I usually like to use a few perfumes at the same time not just to stick to one of them and here you can see i've used up quite a few last year and i rebought most of them but first of all i would like to talk about this one from dior this one is lucky and guys this perfume is so nice it smells like it smells like lily de valley ah it smells so good and I don't know, it reminds me of summer. It gives me some summer light vibes, you know? That's why I keep it mostly for summer because it's been also really expensive. So I'm trying not to use it too frequently. And I've got a few other perfumes from Dior. And uh, here we go with Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. And I ran out, oh, I still have a little tin a little bit here. I've used up two bottles. First one is 100, I think, milliliters, and the other one is 50. Oh my gosh, it doesn't say anything. Anyways, uh, I will definitely rebuy this one. This one is one of my favorite everyday perfumes. Guys, next one is also from Dior, J'adore from Dior, and this time I received a larger version of it, so I'm so happy about it. Uh, this one is a spray. And I've also got a um, roller version, which is really convenient to take uh, with you while traveling. And also, guys, actually, along with Lucky perfume, I've got a uh, Christian Dior Rose Kubaki one perfume. I've used a little bit of it. I really like this one as well. It's a ro like fresh rose scent which is also really, really nice. The next ones I would like to talk about are these two from Chanel, uh, Chanel Chance, a yellow one, and Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. I uh, rebought both of them. So I bought the same 100 here, and for Coco Mademoiselle, I got a larger version. So these two have been my favorites for a long time, and I like using them uh, also on a daily basis. And the last but not least, guys, is this one from Guerlain. Guerlain. Uh, and I tried to find this one for a good half a year and I couldn't find it somehow. So I found this one, it's a big version of it, and people say that this is the same, but it's like rosy gold and this is a gold one. And we, even when I smell it, it smells like differently. This one... Uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty sweet scent but somehow I just adore it and this one it's still sweet but somehow it's a little bit different and when I spray it all over I can still feel it and this one I cannot I hope I can find this one again I really want this oh guys and uh, it's not perfume but 
I haven't mentioned it before and I really would I, I would really like to because this one is SPF broad spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen PA plus 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 water resistant 80 minutes um, and this one is from color science guys this is a powder SPF you can see I've used up quite a little bit and you can reapply it it works perfectly well all over your makeup I've been using it in summer every day every two hours guys it doesn't ruin your makeup but it does actually protect your skin from sunburns and it also works like all over your body you can apply it any way you want it's so good and the color it doesn't leave any white cast even though i believe they do have a color range as well but i don't really care you don't you can't really see it on the skin so this one guys um well summer is not here around the corner yet but you need to reapply spf during the day every day right and this one guys this one is a legit this is my holy grail i'm super happy that i found it next i would like to talk about hair care because here in china my hair became really sheer it's still shedding a lot and the water and um, environment conditions are not really good so you really need to take care of your hair and it became really dry as well so there are a few products that i truly love and i would like to share with you guys um as for the shampoo i would recommend you to try out this brand body aid and this one actually this shampoo uh that's a ginger extract strengthening and revitalizing shampoo this one is really good if you do not really have uh, hair losing issues but if you do i would recommend you to try this one again from body aid anti-hair loss shampoo with ginseng a green version yeah the bottle is not very big though uh it does work what i usually do i would just use any shampoo i've got and second time i would use two or three pumps of this one to wash thoroughly my scalp my hair and after that i would just use any conditioner and a hair mask which i really love guys it's so cheap it's a ginseng no 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 ginger mask <laughs> i'm running out of it it looks like this and it's pretty thick and if you've got sensitive skin on your hands i'd recommend you to use gloves but i just usually take it out like the whole hand and little by little i just massage it into my scalp and then i massage it and work it out for like good five to ten minutes together these two guys they work so well i um actually ever since i bought it and i started using them together i can actually see that my hair um shredding less like twice less at least and guys, after I finished washing my hair, I do not actually comb it through. I use, first of all, I use my very, very dirty <laughs> Aquis hair towel. You know that uh, you put it on your head, then you twist all your hair and button it here. And guys, this towel is a game changer. It's so nice. It doesn't damage your hair. It's so soft and it also helps to soak in the water from your hair so well i've been using this one for two years and guys this is like this one is the best guys and talking about the hair i cannot but mention dyson hair dryer this one is legit the best one no matter what people say i think uh sometimes people just say that it's not that good because it's pretty expensive but i think it worth every penny you pay for this guy and uh you can always like use make it hotter here hotter or colder and always use the cold button here and it actually um dries your hair in minutes really quickly and this attachment along with this attachment the new one are my favorite ones this one you can just blow your hair 
and this one you can tame the fly a ways although I wouldn't recommend using this one quite often because you have to use it very close to your hair and it might uh, dry your hair a little bit and along with Dyson after I blow dry my hair I like to use some oils and hair treatments I still try to explore the market and find more and more nice hair products or leave-in products but so far the ones that I really love is this I already opened it to use it is this Cabs Argan Oil Moisture Repair Spray Leave-in Treatment so what I usually do I just spray it like this all over my hair and then it's done and what it does it actually moisturizes your hair your if you've got some dry ends that I do I need to cut it off it actually moisturizes it and your hair looks shinier healthier and you know if you've got some flyaways it tames it a bit as well and also there's another oil that I like from global keratin it's a serum serum guys a hair taming system with juvexin it looks like this and I used quite a little bit of it this one guys I I, have, I mentioned it before I think it smells as a church for me I don't know why but I do I do adore the smell and it looks like this just uh, it looks like an oil but actually it's a serum so I work it in my hands and then I just apply it all over well usually I go through the hair like this but now since I've got a ponytail I will just use it on my hair here in the ponytail so everywhere still one of my favorites dry shampoos from Batista I really want to give it a try and get a living proof on but somehow I always forget so I still haven't got it so they've got also small versions which is really convenient for traveling but I ran out of it a long time ago and I like uh, actually I do I do like this green one and I also like the same but blue one and also I wanted to talk about this one this is a damage care which is for weak or damaged hair with strengthening keratin and guys uh, well I'm not um, a fan of the white cast that it leaves so I need to work it out or after that I would use my spray you know to get rid of that white cast that it leaves on the hair especially on the dark hair sometimes but it does its job really well it does absorb all the um, oil hair oil or any other builds up so guys sometimes I use it a dry, I use dry shampoo right after I wash my hair it actually extends the how to say clean hair life <laughs> time does it make sense or sometimes I just go for it second or third day again to extend my clean hair lifetime <laughs> does it make sense guys and the last but not least I would like to talk about devices and I think I've got actually many devices but I think this three I've been using the most last year and first of all is this device uh, tripolar stop V and it looks like this you have to use it with a cord it's not wireless and also you have to get separately preparation gel from tripolar or any other I, I usually get tripolar one and what it does it provides you with RF lifting along with the red light here LED and also microcurrent to work your muscles it actually brightens up complexion provides you with collagen production and many other benefits and you can actually see the results of it pretty quickly this one is stop V so V is for V line it actually helps stimulate your muscles in the jaw area and also collagen production to tighten this area up and the next one is this one from Yaman I really like the box so I still keep it in the box uh, Yaman is a Japanese brand 
Tokyo, Japan. So the instructions are in Japanese actually, but it's got all the pictures for you to understand how to use it. And I also just took pictures and translated it in translator. It looks like this, the device itself. Here we go. And in this box, you've got wires. It's got three modes here and also the strands levels are from one to five i believe if i recall correctly so first one is clean second one is moisture and you can also oh, twist it upwards for eye mode it's also moisture and it's lifting as well for the eyes and the third one is calm oh cool yeah and also the last button is to uh, change the vibration also guys uh, it contains uh, three different types of led lights it produces collagen um, it tightens up the skin it helps with rejuvenation and uh, poor uh, issue also it helps you uh, reduce acne and um, overall anti-aging skincare so the last device i want to talk about is this one my favorite mask from omnilux and guys this one has a switch so it's got a cord here you can charge it and then you use only the switch it also has two straps so it's very comfortable and easy to put it on and i usually use this thing on you know to avoid dust collect here so what you do you basically turn it on and it lights up with red and yellow light and you can leave it for 10 minutes and after that it would automatically turn off and guys what i usually do because omnilux also has uh, a neck one and neck mask and hand mask uh, as far as i recall but what i usually do i do it before i go to bed so i apply i put it on for 10 minutes or 20 minutes sometimes i do it two times and then i would put it this way and turn it on again so it would cover neck and chest area as well and this one is really good for healing and you've got if you've got any acne issues it's really good for healing that one it pro, um, helps produce collagen as well it tightens the skin helps fight pigmentation and it's just one mask guys it's so cool isn't it so guys that was it if you would like me to do a detailed review on any of the devices or maybe my device collection video please let me know in the comment section be below and i will make it and thank you so much for watching i hope you all have lovely time hug you stay warm see you next time bye bye